one there are three windows back there. I didn't get the one I originally wanted because it wouldn't fit in my car. Um, but they managed to find that one which is really good. So now I need another large one and maybe a bathroom window and then I have all the windows. So hopefully they should all be able to be manipulated to fit. But yeah, and then that, after the windows go in, it's the cladding and then pretty much all the outside will nearly be done, which is awesome. Hello from the tiny house. So this will be episode seven and this will be probably out the windows part one. So in the last video you saw us fit the first window which is the one that kind of overlooks spills into the entire house and from watching that my friend, we're actually the boss's son and um, we put in the bathroom window and the rear loft window so they went in pretty much fine. Um, bit of a learning curve but, but yeah From there, I then put in the other two loft windows. But yeah, it's probably the first time I've done the window on my own. It's also the first time using that. Hence why my cuts were not straight. And my boss kind of gave it to me and said, this does this, that does that. Don't put your fingers there, da da da. And I was like, okay, we'll see what happens. It's very quick, it's super cool. It's so much quicker than using a hand saw, obviously. And yeah, it was, I'm a fan. So, now that all fits, I'm gonna straighten that bit, get a spirit level make sure it's all good and screw it into place put the window in and then I will have another window I'm going back to work tomorrow full time at the minute it's just been part time due to current world events I'm going to have to set aside specific time obviously on my days off to try and get the rest of this done the cladding's coming on Monday which is in four days so hopefully get the cladding on Like with the other window that I put in, the windows are too big for the gap. The timber's all been screwed in from above and below. So the only way to move this 
piece across is to saw and use a little hacksaw to cut off these screws, move it along, re-screw it in, put the window in and then put the base plate and the stud below it. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, but it's not too bad, I'm getting there. It's just a very, it's taking its time. So close. Kind of like when you're about to lose a, a baby tooth and it's just being held on by like one root. Now here's the fun bit, getting that in there with all the beading. And I started putting in the breakfast window and my boss was able to join me to get that in which was a big help because I had started and he just knew a better way to do it so um, we were able to get it in. Breakfast window and I also have a ladder now. This isn't going to be here at the end my boss just made this just to make it easier access to get into the loft because we were getting up like this. So alongside getting the breakfast bar window in, my boss put in this, this is going to be the kitchen window. So just below it will have like the gas hob, a little space and then the sink. And then this is the shower. So the bathroom will be at this end and it'll be walled off from that post. And there's one final window I want to get for there. 
Okay, so here I've bought a circular window. So it's about 600 millimeters um, in diameter. And this all opens, which is great because the shower is going to be here. So then obviously the moisture can go out both ways. There'll be a wall here and there'll be a door. So obviously when the door's open, the light from there will shine in. And we'll have like a little toilet there and shelving. So that is it for all the windows. I will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven windows and then the stable door will have a, a window too, so I guess twelve. There's going to be a lovely breakfast bar here, which I'm quite excited about. It's going to be live edge wood and obviously live edge there too. I have learned a lot. I was happy that I was able to get those two windows in and I think they look quite acceptable. I spent my first night in here a few nights ago and um, I recorded a bit, a bit of footage of that at the end of the video but yeah no, it was just so cozy and warm and I can't wait to, for it to be insulated and have everything in here so yeah so with my tiny house it came with about eight windows and out, out of those eight windows I managed to use hopefully six and then there was another large window exactly like that one but it was glazed and it was missing the beading, so I traded that window and a smaller non-opening window for the long window here, and um, breakfast bar window and the big bedroom window. I got those all second hand off eBay. So I got the rear window to collect off my sister. She couldn't get it in her car. I see a theme here, so I need to go get that at some point. So yeah, it's getting there. So upstairs we have two of these non-opening windows, purely just for light, a rear window which opens, this lovely window which will be where the staircase is and that'll be a really good fire escape, and um, bay window to go in which will open and the other non-opening side window so there's five windows upstairs in total. And downstairs so we have the breakfast bar window, a future circular window there, the shower window, the kitchen window. Oh, I always get this one, this non-opening long window purely just for light. And another large window there and there will be a stable door. So yeah, thanks for watching part one. Mm.